Okay, uh, we're back. And reacts back to back. Spirit. Last video we did Mary Browns. Mary Browns, eh? Very, you know, solid Canadian chain. Gonna have to see how that went. Yeah, you can go look out there. Dairy Queen, I hope you know Dairy Queen. Classic, yeah. Ice cream, it's mainly known for ice cream. Those blizzards, we had a blizzard on the way back. Yep. Classic, I showed the blizzard logo. There you go. Um, but yeah, no, Dairy Queen is not really known for food and only a few occasions actually serve food mm -hmm. in Canada So you have to go to the ones that say like grill and chill I mean they got like chicken, burgers, burgers. fries It's a classic fast yeah. food fad Like boardwalk, like a boardwalk Poutine in Canada um, Yeah, they got a chicken sandwich And unfortunately in, the, in Canada they don't have the spicy chicken sandwich In the US they do Yeah uh, We only got the regular crispy chicken sandwich here mm -hmm. So it's got uh, all white meat, chicken uh, Lettuce, tomato, mayo and warm bun I think mm -hmm. it's a potato bun it's uh, how much? Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. Canadian. That's average. That's average. That's average. Yeah, yeah, that's how much the price is now. Children. What kind of wrapper is it? It's the paper, classic. classic newspaper type. Let's see, it's like a deluxe sandwich almost. So that chicken, pretty well, thin. Look at this. Oh, yeah. lettuce is starting to wilt. Look, this looks a bit like a mess. Oh, the tomato is barely visible. Yeah. It looks pretty. The bottom. Short. Well, the bottom is barely nothing there. Like literally nothing. Just the toasted bun. Which is. It is toasted. It is it toasted. It is yeah. toasted. But if you want a little fun fact before we go back, mm -hmm. um, we did. Dairy Queen's chicken tenders in a previous video. I'll put a link to that. They actually were one of the like top five fast food chicken tenders. Chicken wow. tenders we had. So unexpected. Yeah, they're actually pretty good. So I think we're gonna have good chicken. The chicken feels insanely crispy. Oh, it does. It's yes, really. Crispy. It's like almost to the point of too crispy. <laughs> Holy shit! We're gonna see. Woo! Well, it's actually surprisingly Ooh. thick inside. Why does it look gray? It does look a bit gray. <laughs> Look, it's actually surprisingly thick. Look at that. Yeah. Cheers. Hmm. Hold on. So, chicken? I like the flavor. Yeah, it's, yeah. it reminds me of like the, the chicken patty almost. Or the yeah, chicken or ginger chicken patty. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of juicy in the middle. But it's not, pounded, it's not pounded evenly, so yeah. the sides are very dry very and very, thin, yeah. very thin. But the chicken, I think it's the best thing uh, Besides the bun, like on yep. the sandwich, it's one of the best things. Right? It, it's a bit tough, though, the chicken, so I don't think it's the highest quality, but yeah. it's, yeah. You, you can even see that it's almost a bit grey or something. Yeah, it's a bit strange in there. It's strange, but it could be um, just the frying oil. The breading, not much flavor to it, no. but... It's crispy, pepper. it's crispy, yeah. I'd say it was more crunchy, like it's, Cr it's crunchy, which right. is weird, yeah, yeah, but... You're right. Lettuce? Well, yeah. Interesting lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Like you gotta try it for yourself. Let us know if it tastes like Taco Bell lettuce. There has to be MSD there, like there has something. Some of them were crispy, like there's some really crispy lettuce in there. It's like almost sweet. Yeah. So, yeah, but iceberg lettuce, I mean, you know, yeah. it's pretty good for sandwich. Yeah. The tomatoes issue, nope. for sure. So we, I think we only got one tomato on both. Yeah, one tomato, and it was, was ready to. Yours was really bad. Almost, it was almost uh, rotten. But almost rotten. It's, mine was overripe, for sure. They're soft, so I think someone put them in the fridge. And when you put them in the fridge, oh, yeah, tomatoes yeah, go yeah, really overnight, soft. Maybe. Yeah. Oh. Put some pickles there. Yeah, pickles would have been, yeah. Uh, the mayo, way too much mayo. Let's see if we can see the back side of this. And you even rubbed it a little bit. I had to rub some off yeah. too. Look, that's still what's on there. It's a lot of mayo. And, and it's, it's nothing special. It's, it's not a great, It's yeah. not a mayo. It's, um, that's a very nice bun. That bun. For Dairy bun. Queen, I, I would have never expected them to have a better nice bun than potato Ray Brown. Yeah. It's a nice potato and fluffy, yeah. fresh. If you see the picture, it looks picture perfect bun. Yeah, it's like pretty much the exact same. Yeah, it looks better than the picture, yeah. actually. It was toasted as well. Oh, yeah. On the bottom and the top. Toasted. So it wasn't soggy. There wasn't any butter, but. The portion, pretty solid. Yeah, for the price. Six ninety nine. Seven dollars, yeah. yeah. If you had the chicken tenders before, this patty tastes like the chicken tenders. Probably has the same bread. Probably. probably, probably same the same. Yeah. yeah. It's so unfortunate that they don't have the spice version. Like, yeah. There's no. Like US has that, so. And it's not hard to make if they have the spice. Yeah, they have a spice now. That, that flamethrower mayo. Uh, I think we, we agree the same score again. And yeah. it's actually a score we gave up recently. Yeah. Uh, 4.5. Four and a half. Four and a half. Ten. Burger King level, but no, not bad. Yeah, I mean, for uh, ice cream place, it doesn't focus on fast food. For an ice cream place, yeah. yeah, it's not the worst thing you could get. No, no. So if you want to try it out, check it out. Yeah, four and a half. Stay tuned. Yeah, keep keep looking up. Yeah. So Toronto, mm -hmm. I will see you. Peace. Right. See ya.